I guess Willow Beats is electronic music. We kind of try and mix it with a bit of like a nature kind of feel and a fantasy kind of vibe. So we're trying to make like, you know, kind of heavy beats but with like beautiful, beautiful synths and beautiful melodies. Okay. It's kind of that clash. A little organic. We've kind of, we were, we were brought up in a pretty musical family. Especially as Akari's, we're always singing and like dancing, dancing and stuff. Yeah. Mawalomba originally, which is like a little, it's like a town on the coast, it's like between Byron Bay and the Gold Coast, so we grew up there. Narayan's my uncle, so we just grew up together. Yeah, we've been kicking it like our whole lives, like, <laughs> we've, we've kind of travelled around a lot yeah. when we were younger, like we lived in the States for a while, in Singapore for a while. Narayan's like the youngest of his generation and I'm the oldest, so yeah, he's yeah. always like my big brother. So I was always looking after her and just like, <laughs> being the uncle. <laughs> Music for me, I was exposed to like early dubstep, kind of before it hit massive. But it, just at this party, these guys were playing, and I was like, "What is this?" And I'm like, oh my God, it's dubstep! Check it out, it's gonna be huge. And I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Because I've always been into kind of halftime music, like with that, you know, like um, a lot of electronic music is kind of faster and not as much space, but dubstep has that kind of space and it kind of breathes. And I was like, "Wow, this is like electronic music, but it's funky and it's like it's fresh." And that kind of that got me off on it. I actually broke my wrist during I was studying guitar at uni, and so I had to like kind of like go, oh crap, what am I gonna do now? And um, yeah, so I kind of just started getting into like the electronic stuff. I went and bought some speakers and a microphone and came home and recorded Kalyani, and um, that was our first song. And we just kept doing it because it was fun. It's been a bit different for every song actually. We kind of mix it up, keep it fresh and um, like from under the ground, Kalyani actually wrote the song and she recorded like the keys and the vocals. And then she actually went over to the States for a while and I made the song while she was away. But lately it's been a bit more collaborative, like I'll make a beat and then she'll come sing some stuff and then we'll go think about it and kind of you know sing some harmonies and kind of do that kind of thing. Because I'm like, we live, sometimes we live far away from each other so then I'll just write something on the piano and sing. Whereas lately we were like together more so it just happened. I mean we kind of look at the older songs and we kind of think of them as a bit like bubbly like From Under the Ground is kind of this like bubbly kind of poppy song. Our, our new EP is a bit more mature. Yeah, We've kind so of found nice. ourselves a little bit more musically. And it probably has more of a, like a specific like yeah. feel. The first EP was like a bit all over the place like genre wise. Like every track was kind of like yeah, for very sure. different whereas this I think like meshes more nicely as yeah, so like a feel. Like for sure, even like subject matter, it's all kind of magically fantasy kind of stuff. We use Ableton Live for live. I actually don't produce in Ableton, but we use it for live gigs. Um, and I've got all the tracks kind of split, so I've got like all my drums in one channel, and I've got all my synths, and I've got all my basses, and I've got all my you know all my like effects and things like that. And so it kind of gives me the freedom to like mash songs together and mix them together like that. So I might be able to put like you know the drums from one song over the bass from another song. Um, and we also have like a trigger pad, you know we do like that kind of vocal glitching. We'll have like Kalyani's vocals like mapped out with little glitches and then we'll kind of drum in there. And then I guess Kalyani sings as well, so it's... <laughs> Roadkill, <laughs> and I was just like hunched on the side of the road with like a serrated knife. It's a bit weird, but yeah, like just like finding things and yeah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you just have a My, spatula, just like yeah, yeah. it's a kangaroo. Yeah. 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 On the way to school, I was like, "Mom, we have to stop." 
<laughs> Always late to school. What, what's then... the craziest thing you found? Oh, um, a little like hedgehog kind of thing. I was like, what are they called again? They're like covered in spikes. Echidna. Yeah, echidna. <laughs> and echidna. And so we had like so many spikes at home. And my little brother stepped on one and had to go to hospital. Oh. 